part four of our super fun series of doing the top three products in every makeup category and this is lip edition so we have a few to go through i think this is the last one that we'll be doing i've done three others that i will make sure i link for you so you can go back and look at all three of those and as the video goes on i'll try to link them in a card whichever goes up here don't forget I have a numbering system it goes up right here. If you like the product that I'm holding up, remember the number that comes up at the same time. Go down into the description box and in that description box, there's going to be the number with the product and then the link next to it with any colors or anything you might need to know about. So it's really easy for you to find everything that way. Let's start out with probably my favorite category when we're talking about lips and that's lip gloss. I love a good lip gloss, but there are so many that have hit the market lately. But do I want a plumping gloss or do I want a really dewy one or and it goes on and on. So one of the ones that I want to show you that I think are really beautiful are from Para, oh, I say this wrong every, every time. You guys know I'm terrible with the names. Para Para. Okay, let's hope that's how you say it. These are an actual gloss that is just so luxurious and pretty as I stammer so luxurious and pretty they have a little bit of color in them which i think is really pretty as well but they are so hydrating and so yummy this one is color 08 i can't see what uh, what it is other than 08 and then this one has got a little bit of that kind of purpley mauvey color in there so pretty as well i'll put that one on top i'll probably have five million lippies on by the time this is done love me some good lippies 05 they have a bunch of colors in these and i'm sure you'll find one that you like now my favorite plumping gloss at the drugstore is absolutely milani's keep it full these are so good i have a lot of these but i picked out my three favorite this one is nude shimmer i love a pretty shimmer over top of a lipstick always have this one has got a nude color to it but it's got that shimmer at the same time the next one is called tropical shine this one's kind of got like an orangey base to it, a peachy base to it. That one's beautiful as well. That one I like to wear on its own all the time. And then this last one is called Moonlight. And it's just your basic shimmer over top of any lip gloss or lipstick, excuse me. And it's going to give it that beautiful shine. So all of those are so pretty. And then the third gloss that I love is from Maybelline, Lifter Gloss. I mean, can we go wrong with a Lifter Gloss? No, they're so beautiful. So the ones that I chose today are Moon. This is a pink with a shimmer, kind of a nudie pink color, nudie pink. This <laughs> is kind of a nude color with a little bit of shimmer in it. It's very pretty, pink. And then the next one is Pearl, I believe. Yes, the next one is Pearl. So this is that icy color with the shimmer in it this one you're not gonna be able to see on camera but it does set off your lipstick with a little bit of that shimmer just really beautiful and then the last one i never thought i would like this but i absolutely love this and this one is just called gold and this one i love to wear on its own with a lip liner because you get that really beautiful gold just sparkle sheen color not really even glitter or anything just that sheen it's just absolutely it's gorgeous transcendent almost i wanted to say but it's just one of the really really pretty ones and the other beautiful thing about the, these is when you just use a lip liner and these you just have the most beautiful look on your lips now this is an honorable mention because this is not drugstore but these are the sydney grace lip products have you guys tried these at all sydney grace uh, these are not that expensive i was just in shock but I'll just show you really quickly just a couple of them. They look so beautiful on top of any, any lip product or by themselves. They have these cream colors and then they have the shimmer colors, but they are this intense pigment with some of them that are so pretty. Okay, here we go again. I'm going to put a little bit more on. They are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. You guys, if you have a favorite color... You need to go over and look at Sydney Grace's and this wasn't planned on being in here, but I had it set out here because I had recently bought two more of these, but these are such good lip creams. I, I love, love, love those. Now let's talk a little bit about a lip oil. Um, lip oils are something everybody's gone nuts over for. I think some of the best lip oils on the market are from Milani. 
fruit fetish. Mine is in leche, leche nectar. Ooh, this smells like candy. <laughs> it smells really good. And it's just a really nice oil that doesn't wear away really fast. You know, some lip oils, even though they're hydrating and nourishing, they wear away, wear, wear away really fast. This one doesn't too much. And then the other one is from Essence. This is Hydra Kiss Lip Oil. This one just came out very recently. But I'll tell you that I love this one because it's a little bit thicker. It almost acts like a lip gloss, but it's got that nourishing benefit of having of being a lip oil. Really love that one as well. And then ColourPop's So Juicy Plumping Lip Oils. I love this. I absolutely love the formula in here. But I will tell you, ColourPop, you make it almost impossible to pull this out of the tube. And sometimes when I pull it out, when I was first starting, it would go like this. And I would either throw that silly doe food applicator or some of the product would go across the room. So this is pretty. I love this. They had this in a ton of colors. And I just think this is one of the best lip oils that has ever been developed for a price point. See how hard that was? For a price point that is at drugstore. When you start talking about a really good lipstick, there are only three companies that I can think of right now that I absolutely adore their lipsticks. But everybody is going for that hybrid of lipstick and balm. Have you been noticing that, especially in high end? Well, L'Oreal and Moira and Revlon have all gone back to it as well. Actually, that's not Revlon. Revlon just came out with that and I forgot to put it in here, but I can only pick three. Wet and Wild, Wet and Wild had that as well. So let's start with Wet and Wild. I have no clue what that's called. That, that lettering is so little, I couldn't tell you. But this has that shine, that super high shine to it. This is a nude color. They have a bunch of colors in this and it's a really good formula. Now, I will say that the shine lipsticks, they don't last as long as a regular lip, 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 lipstick would, but they're really good anyway. And if you're somebody that likes the extra nourishment and you don't mind reapplying, go for it. These are great. This one from L'Oreal is their Glow Paradise. And it's the same thing. L'Oreal came out with these shine lipsticks a long time ago, but they've now revamped them because again, they're hot on the market. And I, this is color 190. I don't know, ecstatic something. I am so blind, even with these dang glasses. My close-up reading is just crap. So, uh, Nude Heaven. Ooh, I read it. Okay, Nude Heaven is this color. This is the color I've been using the most of just because it's super easy to wear, super easy to throw on. Beautiful color. Kind of a peachy color on that one. Peachy nude color on that one. And then the other one that I have is from Moira. And this, I can't remember what this lipstick formula is called, but it said something like just basic lipsticks. But these are two really pretty colors. This is a bright pink, super shiny. I like that one so much. Kind of a bright, um, little bit of lavender in there maybe. Just really pretty color. And I'll make sure that that's put down below for you. And then this other one is a pink and it's a little bit brighter than the other ones too. So the ones from Moira are maybe just a little bit more saturated than the ones from Wet n Wild but the ones from L'Oreal are fairly saturated too. So you have that beautiful hybrid. Okay, lipsticks themselves. This one is, it was super easy for me. So the newest one loves of mine, and I'll show these to you first, it are the e.l.f. ones. And this is the e.l.f. satin lipsticks. They have a ton of colors in these and they are so good. I'm gonna have a hard time seeing these, so bear with me. This one's called Dirty Talk. What this is, it's a, a satin lipstick, but it's, a very creamy formula and it's very nice on the lips. It's gonna be around for a long time. I mean, you've got a few hours of wear on these. They are really that pretty. This one next is Effortless. This is a beautiful color as well. I really like this color. Kind of a deepened, deepened pink with a cool tone to it. Very beautiful. And then the next one, oh, by the way, this is like a magnetic closure. So that's kind of a high-end feature at drugstore, crazy. Um, and then the next one is called Shameless. And this one is the darkest one I have. And this one is pretty too. It's like on the, on the verge of a, being a burgundy, just maybe more of a maroon color. They're so pretty and I've really been enjoying them. Love that packaging, by the way. The other one that I have, no surprise, Maybelline. 
love Maybelline Sensational Lipsticks. Born With It is probably my most used color of all time. Well, that's not true. The other one is too. Born With It is a nude. It's a creamy looking color. Very satiny sheen on that one. Um, love that one. Pink, really easy for me to wear anyway. Warm Me Up is probably my most used color. This I bought like, I don't know, 12 tubes of these in my lifetime. Beautiful color that I feel like just about any woman can wear. It's just a gorgeous muted medium rose. Neutral, not warm, not cool. It's very pretty, very easy to wear. And then the last one is Rose Embrace. This is the, deep, the deepest one of the Maybelline as well. So those three right there, just so pretty. And again, these are satin. You can get mattes if you want to, but I'm more of a satin person. And then no surprise about the Revlon lipsticks. Oh my gosh, Revlon's they're so iconic. Maybelline, Revlon, they're so iconic. Even Elf is becoming iconic as far as I am concerned. This is called Pink in the Afternoon. This has got more coral in it than all the other colors. This is a bright pink that I absolutely love wearing in the springtime. It's just one of those colors that makes me happy. So that's a gorgeous color. These are just my favorites. You probably have some that you absolutely love. Primrose, True Blue Pink. True Blue. <laughs> It's a true pink that's very on the blue side. It's definitely on that cool tone side. Love that one as well. I'm knocking everything over. And then this one is called Plum Baby. I think this one is a pearl. Yep, this one's a pearl. This one is pretty because it does have that little bit of pearl in there. And this one is almost like a vampy color. So I wish, oh, you know what? Here we go. We're just gonna, a little bit of this one on. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Yep. Gorgeous, plum baby. Mm, love it. Ooh, just so pretty. All right, girlfriends, last category that we have is drum roll lip liners. Can you live without a lip liner? Because I can't. I mean, I think I could live without like a lip gloss versus a lipstick or a lip plumper or lip oil. But I can't live without a lip liner. I need a lip liner because my lips have those vertical lines. Okay, beautiful lip liners. Let's talk about Maybelline. Color Sensational Lip Liners. I think I have them in seriously every color they have. This is a mechanical liner. It's not like the long, super lasting ones. This is a very creamy formula. The first one I have is Gone Grage. You know when you want your lips to look fuller? So put Gone Grage down there in the bottom as a pout and the very top and then put a different liner on and go on top of Gone Grage just a bit and then blend everything you're gonna have the most pouty, yummy look on your lips. Okay, stop talking and swatch. Gone Grage, right here, Grage, excuse me. And then the next one is Dusty Rose. This is my favorite nude color to wear with nude lipsticks. This one is beautiful, creamy, like I said, mechanical pencil. So these aren't gonna be like all day long wear. By the way, I just flipped that off of there, or just clipped it off. Does have a liner, or does have a sharpener in the bottom of the liner. And then the last one is Almond Rose. Gorgeous. This is the one I wear almost on the daily because it goes so well with all of those lipsticks and lip glosses that I've shown you. Just beautiful. Now, if you want super duper long lasting lip liners, go for the Revlon Color Stay Longwear Lip Liner. The first one that I have is in Plum. Beautiful plummy color. Goes with so many of my pink lipsticks. Just gorgeous. And I do really love mauve because again, it's that color that I can wear with nudes and I can wear it with pinks, but these are super long lasting. So the other ones are a creamy formula. You can fill in your lips. You can fill in your lips with this too, but these ones are super long lasting and I do like them very much. But the longest lasting ones I have are the L'Oreal Age Perfect ones and I only have one, but I'm gonna go get more because these are super creamy, creamy application None of these bleed, by the way. That's what we want in a lip liner. We don't want it to bleed. We want it to be one that's there and we can have it on without, you know, looking in the mirror and going, holy crap, what just happened to my lips? So this one, this color is Orchid. Gorgeous color and I love wearing it, but I don't wear it all the time because it's brighter, but it's still pretty. But one of the things is as I was, you know, testing out different ones and deciding which ones I wanted to have, in this particular video and I let that set down for a few minutes and then when I went back to rub it off it was almost like one of those eyeliners that you can't rub off 
And so if you're looking for a lip liner that is there all the time, go for the L'Oreal Age Perfect because they're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So I'm going to throw up right here on the screen the last video I did, and I think it was about all about eyes. And go click on that and go take a peek and see all about the eyes and what I chose for that. Hope you're doing well. Love you much. Catch you in my next video. Bye, friends.